Oh, one more crumb. Delicious. Mmm. Oh. That was my mince pie. I had for tea. Very nice. You had them? Well, I've got one of these left, so what can I do with it? Well, there's something quite extraordinary you can do with a little aluminium pie. Let me show it to you. You want to find a few other things to find around the household, like that's a battery, but you can get simple batteries in that. That's a set of one. A magnet, a little bar magnet with a north and a south in it. Aluminium foil, aluminium foil, which we get in the kitchen. I use it all the time. You need to get some copper wire from somewhere. I expect you'll find some. And then some, oh, saline solution. Very strong salted solution with lots of salt in the bottom and very, very salty water. That's all you need. And then with that, would you believe, you can celebrate Michael Faraday, one of our most famous scientists who invented the electric motor and with these pieces you can make a replica of that electric motor very quickly and very easily and it's 200 years just over that he first invented this with something as simple as these things i'm showing you now so let's put aside these but this is the one i want to keep so i'm going to use this and i'll show you what i've made up here here's the stuff ready on a little tray ready to go so there's the mince pie. I think there's no crumbs left. I put a slightly more modern magnet there. Magnet, uh, it's a stronger one, only a dimmer magnet, but that's all the same thing. This is aluminium foil. There's a copper wire made into that funny shape with a little shepherd's uh, crook at the top. And this one is doing something else which you'll see in a moment. And all we've got to do to get it started is just fill up with some of the salt solution. Heavy saline solution. And we're away. Wow. Let's see if we can make it work first time. So this hangs from here, and then we've got a almost a full electric current, a, a, um, a circuit, but we've got to get the battery put together. So let's charge up the battery, attach the battery to this. This is the, um, the black, the negative pole, and here's the positive one. When I attach this to the lamp, something the aluminium tray, well I'll put it actually onto this bit of aluminium foil, we hope to get some action immediately. Let's see if it works. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's fizzing. And it's sparking as well, actually. It's a bit active, actually. We thought we'd try and calm it down a bit just by, you don't have to do it, but if you want to, just calm it down a bit by putting a resistor on it, and it goes a little more slowly, and not quite so actively. And now it's doing it beautifully. This is what he discovered, they say, on Boxing Day, just over 200 years ago. Motion, the very first electric motor ever made. Absolutely amazing. Why does it work, or what's happening? Why does it go that direction, and so on? Well, I can reverse the direction, which I'll do in a minute, by reversing the magnets the other way around. But once I'll do that first, pick this and just lift it up, which does it, and put it back the other way. Instead of going clockwise, it's now going anti-clockwise. Or you can turn the battery around and connect this one to here and this one to here. It'll go the other way. Well, there's a bang of law of physics called the left-handed rule. I have trouble remembering it, so I've had a friend of mine has helped me by writing on my, on my um, fingers. You have to hold it like that at right angle. That's a right angle, and that's a right angle, and that's a right angle. And you say to yourself, that represents the flux, the field flux, the direction of the magnetic field, which goes from north round to south. This represents motion, which is the motion of this thing here moving. In. And this one here represents current. That's the direction of the current, which is going first one way and then the other, depending on how you connected it up. I do have trouble remembering this, actually, so that does help. But perhaps you can then work out why it should go in a circular motion. And I find that a bit tiresome, so over to you. But isn't that a fun thing to make? <laughs>